So this question looks like it's going to be a diagram question. Looks like we have two parabolas, one facing upward, which is labeled as f of x, the other one facing downward, which is labeled as g of x. So the question says the functions f and g defined by f of x equals 8x squared minus 2 and g of x equals negative 8x squared plus 2 are graphed in the xy plane above. So we already checked those out. The question goes on to say the graphs of f and g intersect at the points k0 and negative k0. What is the value of k? All right, so what do we know? We know we have these functions. We have this f of x equation here, this g of x here. And based upon the graph, right, because we're focusing our attention on the graph, we see that these k values or these intersection points are the x-intercepts as well. So not only are they where the two parabolas intersect each other, they are where the two parabolas have their x-intercepts. So um, just to remind you, if you don't remember from school, the way that you find the x-intercept is you just plug in 0 for y, right? And as we can see even on the diagram here, these k values are where y equals 0. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these functions. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to go with my f of x function. It tells me here that f of x is equal to y, um, which is always true even if the question doesn't say it. But that means I can replace f of x with y equals. So I'm going to say y equals 8x squared minus 2. We find x-intercepts by replacing y with 0. So that means I'm going to turn this into 0 equals 8x squared minus 2. And now I'm just going to solve for x because I know that my x value is my k. So I'm going to, let's just rewrite this as 0 equals 8k squared minus 2. Again, because k is the x term, right, in the ordered pair. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides here. So I'm left with 2 equals 8 k squared. I can then divide both sides by 8. So I'm left, I'm left with 1 fourth equals k squared. And then to solve for k, I square root both sides. The square root of 1 fourth, well, you look at each part of that fraction separately. The square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. The square root of 2 is, I'm sorry, the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. So this just ends up being a plus or minus one half for my k value. And therefore, the correct answer here must be choice B.